Hello friends, welcome to Laptex. My name is Nasser, and uh, today we have Dell 3542 motherboard, and the part number, as you can see, that it is SIDAR, and uh, it comes with uh, four and fifth generation. Now the situation is here, as you can see, that uh, as soon as I insert the DC jack into the motherboard, you can see the amperage. Sometimes it goes. 0.019 and sometime it goes 60 to 70 milliamp. So, this is the problem in this motherboard that uh, it is not getting on and uh, sometime 3.3 and 5 volt regulator is getting heat abnormally. So, now you can see 0 0.069 and in the in this uh, scenario if you check uh, the voltage. So, let me check it. Now, it is a very uh, difficult task for me because uh, as Dinda used to be here, now he is unavailable. It seems I will have to cut his salary. <laughs> so, now you can see that uh, instead of 3.3 and 5 volt, I am not getting even a bit of voltage on the multimeter you can see. So, the voltage is absent on the coil. So, sometime when it takes uh, this load, uh, I get proper voltage and uh, we consider in this situation, in this scenario, we consider to move forward, but I would like to resist you in this point. So, instead of checking the same voltage with the help of multimeter, I would rather suggest you to check it with the DSO. So, why, why that so? Now, you can see. This is called a glitch. As I told you in our video classes, when I was uh, making this video for the DSO, so I told you that uh, on the output of the coil, if you get, look, this is the input side, so which is connected uh, with the regulator and this is the output I am checking here. So, this is the output. So, on the output, if I get any uh, pulse like this, as you can see on the DSO that uh, this is the situation you can say that uh, this uh, DC line is holding a glitch inside the DC line and uh, this is not a normal case. So, however, it seems that uh, you are getting the 5 volt or 3.3 volt. Now, you can see the 3.3 volt coil I am checking and on the 3.3 volt. So, let me set it be able to see the voltage. Now, you can see the voltage of 5 volt. So, it is not having glitch on the output of the coil, but 3.3 volt is having glitch. So, I need to eradicate this problem. So, what I need to do? So, I will break this capacitor. Okay. So, usually this cause. So, I need to fix one. Let me come back to fixing the new one. Then I will show you the condition. Now, friends, as you can see that I have replaced this electrolyte capacitor and uh, I am using this uh, 330 microfarad capacitor instead of this drum capacitor. Now, insert the DC jack into the motherboard. Now, it is fantastically it is on and uh, let me show you the thing which I was checking. So, this is what you have to remember always on the output you should not get a bit of glitch line on the DC straight line. So, if you are getting any glitch, so that could be reason of the main problem. This is the root cause of the problem. So, you have to remember this thing. However, this is the very short trick and uh, how you rectify your board. So, it is up to you how do you check it, but with the help of uh, multimeter you cannot reach to the root cause of the problem. So, in this way the thing which is needed you need to have that and also you need to know that uh, how to use the DSO and uh, all the functions you need to know. If you have any confusion, if you have any doubt you can comment on the comment box and uh, if you want to join our course video course or online course 
you can contact on the given number and uh, i would like to say one more thing that uh, please like as much as possible and uh, if you haven't subscribed our video as of now please subscribe it and also hit the bell icon button so that you will get notification from our site because time to time we update this types of uh, critical case study in front of you so thank you guys thank you for watching this video